Nothing left, so hold on tight as a hurricane breaks the fence. Stay hidden from the causes that might let go of your hands. Take me away, I'm running for my life, for my life. What's with your Good day, my YouTube fans all of you how you been just uh, going on some of the last little fall rides that we can go right now it's day by day who knows what uh, tomorrow's gonna bring so trying to get us out as much as I can and to do a little bit of vlogging is uh, when it is available on my bike so the idea is to do a couple of these episodes um, probably until about the weekend hopefully maybe I can go out on the weekend and uh, do a little bit of uh, motor vlogs. Once that's there though, I think I'm pretty well at the end of it. It is getting colder as well right now. It's, I don't even know what temperature. I'm guessing it's hovering around two, three degrees. So she's a little bit chilly. So we'll see what happens anyway. I'm just gonna go around the block and kind of talk and connect with you guys. Uh, obviously I'm new at the motor vlogging, so the more I do it, the better I'll get at it. So some of the topics might be a little bit dry. Uh, some of the uh, action might not be as fulfilling. Again, it's all depending on the type of uh, action that I'm doing at the time and how much I can cro um, how much I can concentrate on it. So just going down these little side roads, uh, county roads here, and uh, yeah, they're nice a little blast around and. I've been enjoying a lot of different types of uh, motor vlogs. Uh, went on Italian motor vlogs. <laughs> I'm Italian descent, so I decided to see what um, the Italians are doing. And they actually, you know, they're like everybody else. They've got their own channel and they got their own type of uh, format. And yeah, it's been uh, it's been really entertaining to watch. I'm not fluent in Italian, but I do understand most of it, and I'll understand with a few words what the actual what they're talking about. Uh, growing up, uh, parents both born in Italy came here when they came to well, migrated to Canada when they were about three, four years old. So I grew up very, very Canadianized. My name is not Italian; it's Jeffrey, which is English. That's the type of atmosphere they lived in when they got here. So they really kind of lost the Italian heritage and language. So that's the story, anyway. So that's why I'm kind of looking at other ideas of what other moto vloggers are doing out there and of course I keep the ones that I've been following near and dear to my heart and I've been quite enjoying everything so far other than tweaking my channel a little bit with uh, channel art trying to promote it a little bit better here and there that's obvious obviously an ongoing issue no matter where you are in the YouTube world of moto vlogging or as a channel itself so I'm trying to kind of go into the never-ending resources and fountain of information to figure out if that is exactly uh, how I want to go about it. Which channels resonate with me, which channels engage me, which channels, you know, really drive my interest. And that's how I want to... So back on topic, yeah, exactly what I'm looking at is, you know, obviously there's a not one issue you could do or not one magic formula that'll make you an instant hit. I think, you know, as I started this, I wanted just to be a cool little motocross videos, dirt bikes, off-roading, fooling around with your friends. And I wasn't even looking at monetizing, wasn't looking at anything else, just to connecting it. But I did get hit bit by the motocross and the YouTube bug. And I definitely want to make sure that um, I, you know, wanted to pursue it a little bit more than I have been in the past. And hopefully with some of the videos and footage that I'm producing uh, you know you're noticing that um, you're noticing that content and value so I'm just looking behind me to see if there's a car that I'm slowing up because I'm just driving down these gravelly dirt roads and I'm just kind of taking my time just you know having a good uh, a good ride um, you know when I go out with the boys and whatever yeah I'll go in a little bit faster and push myself a little bit more but I'm by myself right now and it's a little cold to drive fast I don't have much in the terms of windbreaker on it so the faster I go the colder it feels 
Uh, but yeah, no, bike's working good. Uh, really happy with uh, with the performance on it. Just got an email today from Kawasaki asking me how I'm uh, enjoying the bike. So I'm going to go in, read their questionnaire form, and fill it out. Give my comments. See what um, what I would suggest for change. And there's a little bit of changes I would do on this bike for sure, but uh, overall, no, it's a great package and I'm uh, extremely happy I bought it. I think it's going to be uh, making me a lot better of a moto uh, rider, definitely, and um, it's going to be something I can actually handle quite a bit. So, as you can tell, these roads are dead. Not much to them. And just going around the block here, just doing a couple of little side roads. These are county, regional, township roads, they call them. So they're not, they're just part of the county, not part of the province. And that's who ma maintains them. A lot of them are gravel, unserviced, patchy uh, pavements, you know, just the regular stuff. And here's some of our livestock. Yeah, of course they want to see a Kawasaki drive by. Get it, Kawasaki? <laughs> They've never seen a green cowie, that's for sure. Funny enough, I wonder, when I drove by today, I was on a little bit of a ride, I seen one of the cattle <laughs> walking in the walking in the pond. <laughs> it was up to its belly anyway. And uh, we should pass by it, but I doubt it's in there. This is going back a few hours ago. So, yeah, that'll be good. But, uh, yeah, time to, uh, you know, look at uh, eventually, probably within another month, the bike's going to be gone for the season. I will do a couple stunt rides, I mean, you know what, at the end of the day, that's what probably will get my videos up a lot higher, is the uh, type of stunting that I'm doing on them. And, uh, yeah, hopefully that'll get my viewer count up. You know what, at the end of the day, all I am is just a yap here, and you're just watching this boring county road. You're not doing anything of any value to make you want to watch. Not doing any um, wheelies or anything like that. I'm just, you know, rolling down a gravel road, yapping my brains out. So I don't want to be uh, a guy that's just going to talk endlessly about nothing. Um, you know, well, you know what? Here, let's listen to this short clip in one of the hit movies uh, from uh, uh, Steve Martin and Johnny. Oh my God, I can't even remember his name. He's Canadian. And uh, what's his name now? Oh my God, did uh, did a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, John Candy. That's who I'm looking for. Let's go watch a little clip. And this is what I don't want my viewers to feel like. So watch that, and we'll come back in a second. It's like going on a date with a chatty Kathy doll. I expect you to have a little string on your chest, you know, that I pull out and have to snap back. Except I wouldn't pull it out and snap it back. You would. Ah, 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 ah. And by the way, you know, when you're, when you're telling these little stories, here's a good idea. Have a point. It makes it so much more interesting for the listener. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. That was funny, I thought. And I thought, you know what, I got to kind of add some content. So as you can tell, I'm really experimenting with some of the uh, adding effects or some other movie clips or sound effects. And hopefully uh, you'll find those interesting. If not, I guess I'll know that you didn't. And now we're heading back to town, guys. So yeah, hopefully you liked the video. Hope you liked this uh, conversation I had today. And uh, feel free to, uh, you know, talk with me and we'll chat it up. And you know, I'm really looking forward to maybe meeting some of uh, the new guys that are on my channel. I know a couple of them are from Alberta and they have, you know, responded. And hopefully we can continue that and maybe uh, do a moto vlog together, so. That would be interesting, but we'll t well, time will tell. But again, if you're uh, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, by all means, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, yeah, let me know uh, what you think of the channel. If uh, yeah, so I'd really appreciate it if you hit like, hit subscribe. I'll let you know, guys, as I get closer to some of the giveaways that I have. One of the big giveaways will be a, a new pair of motocross boots. I'll work out the details on that. And I'll let everybody know. And in the meantime, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this ride. I uh, wish you all the best. And, yeah, watch out for the next ride. Hopefully, in the, maybe in another day or two, you'll, uh, you'll see me go in. And then I'm hoping to give uh, 
if the weather's good, hopefully to give you guys another uh, dirt bike with Jeff in the mud. So maybe we'll get into some nasty shenanigans. Anyway guys, hope you're doing good. Thank you very much again for uh, coming on this ride with me. And I look forward on my next adventures with you. So have fun and stay loose. What do the avocado think? Into the pits. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing left so holds on tight is a